The reporter, Bill Blake, was a guest on a television talk show on station WJKL, which is broadcast from their studio in Washington. The subject was ethics in reporting, and Blake was coming under fire for using sensational tactics. I know that last night, I know that last night during the time frame when Andrew Taylor was murdered, Alan Cranford says he was alone in the temporary studio at the hotel editing the film for the movie. Alone, huh? No witnesses. I know that Andrew Taylor wanted Georgia Mason to sign a prenuptial agreement. Oh. <laughs> of his money, or stocks, or alimony, if they divorced. She refused to sign it. Oh, darling, there's a perfectly good explanation for that. <laughs> well, I know that Andrew Taylor run, ran for the Senate last year, but he lost the race. Alan Cranfer supported his opponent, Dan Drunell, and produced several public service announcements for him for free, which infuriated Mr. Taylor. Alan, you supported his opponent? That's perfectly terrible, isn't it? Oh, I know that last night between the hours of 8 p.m. and midnight when Andrew Taylor was murdered, Georgia Mason says that she was in her hotel room alone studying her scripts. I was, darling. Only Allison told me the tea party scene, not this whack and roll club thing. <laughs> I know that last night around the time that Andrew Taylor was murdered, Allison Evans says she was working out alone in the hotel's private VIP exercise room. Alone again? I don't think there's witnesses to that, huh? Mm -hmm. That was really, is there another? Oh, another. Oh, one more. Yes, sir, I'm sure the best. And I know that Andrew Taylor called the publisher for questions in his group. He's a personal friend. Told him to fire Bill Blake mm -hmm. or to You're right. You are right. He's one of those like tabloid reporters, always digging up, you know, crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, they 